Right, Sheila, this is about video two or three. Um, I think it's number three. Coming along the track still, up from the, down the bottom where the hamlet is, where you get, come first enter Dolbury Warren, into towards the Rowbarrow Warren. Here's some trees here, big tall thin ones that have been thinned out a lot. Um, and they don't look, they never look very healthy that lot. Um, very spindly, very tall. I don't know if they're used for furniture or just for burning. And then you've got this more shrubbery type wood this side. And it's a, a glorious autumn spread they're putting on. With the mossy walls. The lost streams, I call them, because sometimes this is totally dry and you wonder where the stream goes and then I think it's like an overfill, overspill area. And of course you've got the, the hill fort up there. Look. That's the hill fort. And in a minute we'll come to a stile where you can go up and enter the, the hill fort from a different way. I call it the secret steps. And I think this is where you get over the gate. You get over there. Style though, get over there and walk that way. And eventually you'll start going up and then the steps will take you up. And I've walked along the top of that area up there. It's very beautiful indeed. But I'm not doing that today. I'm not doing that today. Today I'm just um, doing a walk I do several times a year, one way or another. I recorded it so many times. This will be probably the last time this section, well, I'm not, I can't guarantee it because I do come out a lot, usually when the weather's okay, but I'm on what's called catch up <sighs> because the weather has been quite bad really for walking. I mean, wind, I don't like a lot of wind, but this isn't too bad because it's not raining. And part of the plan for today was to keep in the wood and out of the fierce blusteriness, which this walk provides me with shelter, in, even though I can hear the wind. Um, it's November now, I've got to get up on the Quantox next for um, November's walk. Remember, I'm doing a video and photos of every month of the year up there. Because it could be the last time I get up there easily. I don't know if I'll have... At the most, I think I'll have one more year of being able to, because I do intend to most probably sell Alberta when she's... Seven, when she is... Um, 30 is a possibility, a strong possibility. I mean, she might have to go earlier, but um, I'd like to have a couple more trips away in her for next year. Um, I don't really want to get rid of her at all, to tell the truth. But uh, economics, she's getting older. She needs tender, loving care now, which I can't give her. I can't... Um, do the work she needs on her, her body work mainly. Um, so, and she could do with a good old clean up with her upholstery. You know, there's lots of little things that usually men do, they've got the skills. Uh, I'm not saying I won't get a little vehicle of some sort, you never know, I might do. Somebody might offer me a swap. Well, that's not, that's not yet. I'm still hoping I can keep her for another year. I have this problem every time. I was so relieved when she passed her MOT. I actually couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Right, today we're going that way, but we won't be going across the pipe. The stream's very busy here. It's coming out of that field, actually. Here's another overspill area. And I'm going up through there. 
So I'm turning off for a off from that track. And if you carry on round that skirts of the hill fort, then there'll be a way back up the hill fort, which I would join later after doing a bit of this. Then I'll be going up. No pressure of buses. I've got hot water in the van for a hot drink when I get back and I've left a packet of crisps there. But that is a beautiful view up there, look. That'll be quite a mucky walk. Might not be. This is going to be equally mucky, look. But look at that view, everyone. Look at the trees. You know? Beautiful trees, tall pines. I brought the stick today, it does sometimes get in the way, I don't always bring it, but in funny conditions it helps a steady one. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful autumn. I don't know if I have been here at this particular time. I'd have to go back and look in the log book. It's magnificent, isn't it? Look at those trees. All old mining areas around here, of course. I'll be walking up. A, I'm not doing the whole of the stream up the other end of this section, by the way. I'm not doing that. I did a bit of that in the summer where I walked past the pink house. No, I'm not doing that. I'm, 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 cut. I'm going up earlier. Um... I'm going up earlier today. <sighs> Leaves crunching on the feet. Crunch, 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 crunch. <sighs> I'm just showing a bit more on the video of this beauty here and the peace. You can hardly hear the wind. It's in the distance blowing high up. When I go up on the hill for it later, I probably won't be able to do any videoing because it would be so... I might video but not... You, you just have to turn the volume down if I if I do that because it will be absolutely fierce, the wind up there. But it will be the way back so I don't really mind. I didn't want to do it on the way because um, I didn't want to get cold too early. Like I said in the past, there was, that was a main, either a stream or a track. I'm not quite sure, because the stream's the other side of that wall. This could have been a, a drove, you see, but it could have been a stream as well. Sometimes it happens that they, they're both. But uh, in and out of all the humps and bumps here, there was little lime kilns, there's perhaps miners' little cottages. Uh, there are various walks I haven't pursued yet, <coughs> but I've got quite a bit of uphill to do further up in a minute. Uh, I'll be basically getting up on top of there. But look at these lovely views everyone. I've got these views in the summer when the, when the <coughs> leaves are fresh and bright and green and healthy. Now they're still photosynthesis, the brown leaves have got a different type of chlorophyll in and they still do a certain amount of photosynthesizing before the trees close their twigs tight for the winter and that we're predicted, it's been predicted in two weeks time it's going to be minus temperatures and heavy snow. <coughs> So this next fortnight I've got to get out on the Quantox and um, things have got to be done. Anyway, over and out for now, I'm going to start taking some pictures in there now. I will when I go up high very soon, like I said, it'll be too windy at times to video, so I'll be selecting quieter areas. Over and out, everyone. All right, I've got to the round wooden house. Um, the stream's very busy today. 
most of the time I go up, I follow the stream and go up the top there. Um, I imagine that to be very boggy actually. So today, I've just come up from there, spoke to the little black and brown sheep, passing through Apple Cottage, which they seem to allow you to do, although I think there's another way, which I've done occasionally, but at the moment they don't seem to mind us walking through. I just met a lady who's uh, exchanged, have a good day sort of thing, and uh, she agreed with me, or well, she mentioned it, how good it is for us, and I said, yeah, yeah, definitely, you definitely come here. Apple tree cottage, see, those um, sheep came right up to my hand a minute ago, but I didn't have anything for them. But they, they've got those apples which are falling down, they've been munching on them. And I expect they get special protein foods uh, at points, because there's a trough there, so they will get fed and I expect they eat it all in one go and then make out they're hungry. Now I've seen this little pink cottage over the years. Gradually, haven't I cycled up here once, believe it or not. I think I've aged a lot since then. Uh, yeah, I think I have. But anyway, um, it was in, in, within the last 11 years though. Actually it was in, within the last 9 years. And uh, I've seen this little cottage get more weathered, if you like, um, like they do. I mean, they, get, they look lovely when they've got their first fresh coat of paint and all that. Look at that place up there, stripped bare like a castle, isn't it? But, you know, it's look, just looking a little tatty now. Needs a coat of paint, needs... The moss is growing nicely on the tiles. Um, it was having some work done, which doesn't look like they've got very far with it. Um, yeah, somebody out there doing, they're doing a bit of gardening. Uh, got this oil central heating. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's possibly that it might get damp, who knows. Um... But it's uh, it's weathered. It's weathering. It's probably been rendered a few times over the centuries. I suspect it's been there a long time. A long time. Anyway, now I'm going up for a bit. Climbing up and now when I... This part of the walk is sort of up and down a bit really and round. Up and down sort of in the woods. Right, that's a beautiful view, folks. I'm going to turn off here to take pictures. I'll come back up on when I'm up the top of the hill. And where it's going to be extremely windy, by the way. So video footage might be limited. I should keep it for when it's sheltered. But this is a gorgeous autumn view look, of Apple Cottage. And the trees behind it. Over and out.